New efforts tonight to address a shortage of health care workers in Alabama. A new facility is coming to Central Alabama Community College in Prattville designed to enhance its nursing program. The college is also partnering with a local high school giving students a jump on their college careers. WSFA 12 News reporter Julia Avant has the story. CACC in Prattville is investing in Central Alabama's future generation of workers. This year, they've taken two big steps to do that. First, they've converted an old daycare on campus into a new state-of-the-art nursing facility stocked with new labs and medical simulation rooms. It's part of an effort to make sure they have everything they need to train students on site. Previously, our students were having to drive to Ellick City or to Childersburg campuses, um, so this has afforded a lot of our students the ability to be able to come here so a lot of our simulations will be, they'll be given a scenario such as a patient that has diabetes or maybe a, a patient has come into the emergency room um, that's in a, in a critical care experience and that patient has, or the student has to walk that patient through the scenarios. In the second big change, CACC has partnered with Prattville Christian Academy for a dual enrollment program to help high school students earn college credits before graduation. The campus is building a new workforce lab right now, but PCA students are already getting workforce training in industries like welding and industrial electronics, skills that are in high demand right now in the River Region. These are brand new programs with a new addition this, uh, beginning this fall. Being able to grow these programs, um, getting the word out to have more students come in, you know, gives us better numbers. CACC is using federal funds to provide two free classes to dual enrollment, dual enrollment students each semester, Mark. Julia, thanks for that information. CACC first opened its Prattville location in the old East Memorial Christian Academy building in 2022.